Alert Weather with meteorologist Gib Brown. I hope you got out to enjoy a beautiful Easter Sunday. It was a fantastic day. A lot of us saw temperatures in the 80 degree range, but not so much anymore. Temperatures in the 50s along the Canadian border in the 60s in the Champlain Valley. We still have a few spots where we are at 80 degrees from Lebanon southward down into Keene, but that's not going to last very much longer. We had those showers go through and those showers were associated with a cold front. That cold front swept through fairly quickly and behind that front we do have some spotty showers. Now we are going to continue to see the showers falling across southern portions of Vermont and New Hampshire. But again, these showers are moving fairly quickly and uh, the residual lingering showers on again, off again overnight, but they're going to be very, very light and upstream. We've got mainly dry atmosphere over the Great Lakes. We are going to be seeing that tomorrow as high pressure begins to build into the region. It's going to be a pretty good day, but temperatures some 15 to 20 degrees colder than what we saw today. So here's that frontal boundary right here. This thing pushes through and uh, kind of takes the uh, warmth with it for sure. Tomorrow's uh, temperature is only in the 50s. Now we're going to see lots of disturbed weather for the next 24 hours or so. Spotty showers, but we're going to look for a high pressure to bring us a cool beginning of the week. Uh, dry weather Monday, especially during the afternoon hours. And then on Tuesday, a beautiful looking day. It looks like this storm system will affect mainly the northern portions of the region on Wednesday, but uh, most of us should be mainly dry until at least Wednesday afternoon. Another the weather disturbance will bring more showers in on Thursday and Friday. Futurecast showing those showers getting on out of here. Tomorrow morning we get up very light shower activity, northern portions of Vermont and in the Adirondacks, mainly over the higher elevations. In the afternoon, we mainly dry things out in the Champlain Valley, a possible light band of showers uh, across the Northeast Kingdom, especially. And then on Tuesday, things dry out very nicely. It is going to be a good looking day, but temperatures a lot more seasonable only in the 50s. We cloud things up on Wednesday, but I think beyond the clouds, we're going to see mainly dry conditions until at least Wednesday evening. And then another weather maker will be moving in by then. So overall tonight, Night. A pretty good night out there. We'll see a few light showers, but it will be breezy. Temperature down to around 53 degrees tonight. Tomorrow, a high only in the 50s. 55 for a high in Burlington, uh, 50 in Montpelier, a little warmer across the southern portions of the region. But temperatures even in the Adirondack staying in the 40s. So it's going to be a chilly start to the work week for a lot of us. Now, as we uh, look at uh, the five day forecast, uh, we're going to see those cooler temperatures, not much warmer on Tuesday, but partly to mostly sunny skies are high Tuesday at 57, 56 degrees on Wednesday. Showers mainly a good bet late in the day and then Thursday and Friday look showery right now, but temperatures stay seasonable into the 50s. As we look into next weekend, keep your fingers crossed, it looks dry. Temperatures rebounding a little bit. We're going to get up close to 60 degrees, but we may see a shower early Saturday morning and then the rest of the weekend ahead looks on the dry side. So we're returning to seasonal weather and for a lot of us after that beautiful weekend, it's going to feel like a return to winter. Yeah, it's